retraction section wire that uh, this wire actually we use it to do retraction for the canine itself without uh, putting any straight wire and if we need to have uh, retraction for the canine in early stage as example when we have a severe crowding on the anterior teeth we can't insert straight wire here because if we put in straight wire in this situation the lower anterior teeth will be inclined labially and all of us know how thin the labial bone in this area is so we can't put straight wire from the first stage even if we are going to use mini screw in this case we can use retraction section that we can insert it in the uh, molar band or maybe buccal tube or also maybe you can use it with mini screw let's see together how to make this retraction section actually it's easy uh, it's only one loop you can use any loop any loop that we learn any closing loop that you can use it for this retraction section let's see together first step first step actually we have to make the stop the stop it's only a helical part like circle we need to make it to make stop that when we do activation the wire will don't come out from the bracket and we will see how it work after that we have to measure the wide of the uh, part that will be inside the bracket for sure it must be uh, similar to the bracket or maybe a little bit wider to put it inside easily after that we have to be sure that everything is okay so we will uh, put the put the wire on the mouth or maybe you can use the cast if, the, if you don't like to make your wire wire the patient inside the clinic see here it's okay now this part now we are going to make the next part here I choose to make the helical the vertical helical closing loop that we uh, saw it in this course that it was second loop that we learned together uh, the actually as I told you uh, long must be six millimeters but you have to increase it if you have long canine so if you study your case very well you will know how to make the loop very well and if the canine uh, less than uh, the usual uh, long you can make it uh, shorter especially if you have a special need for your patient after we finish this part you can uh, be sure that everything is okay now make last bend uh, to put the wire on the same plane of the main wire now uh, this part is finished actually the uh, sectional uh, retraction wire uh, has two parts anterior part we already done and posterior part the posterior part started after second premolar uh, mesial of the buccal tube or the band usually i use band with this kind of uh, sectional uh, retraction wire because it's need activation sometimes the buccal tube will be broken while you are activated so in this area you have to make two bend on the posterior area first one is two wing two inside two wing uh, about 30 degrees this anti-rotation to increase the anchorage of the molar okay this first one the another one actually is tip back also to increase the anchorage for the molar this just to face the reaction forces and for sure for the canine also you have to make like 30 degree to face the tipping while you are doing the distal retraction so you will have almost badly movement and as i told you before you have to check every visit that uh, if you are if you are really having badly movement or not otherwise you have to have uh, otherwise you have to make some modification that to upright your molar to upright your uh, uh, canine so everything will be under control this is it this is the uh, sectional retraction wire you see here everything is okay and now you can use it for your patient and see you in next wire